legendary rock drummer Bobby Blotzer of the multi-platinum rock band Rat attacks bass player extraordinaire Juan Crucier calling him, quote, dancing Cuban bear when the rock god Bobby Blotzer saw that Juan was going out on tour. I got to tell you something, folks. You know, it seems like Bobby constantly gets himself into trouble. What's going on, everyone? Christian Duke here. Sight Sounds Flavors on YouTube, SightSoundsFlavors.com. If at any point in time you like the video, smash that like button. Please also subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, and leave a comment down below. I, you know, I, I gotta say it how it is, you know, Bobby Blotzer is a rock god. He gets mobbed by beautiful 50, 60, and 70-year-old women anytime he goes to Dollar General or the Dollar Tree or save a lot. And the reality of the matter is, is that I don't understand why he is, you know, throwing, uh, you know, uh, digs at Juan Crucier, who co-wrote many of the band's biggest hits, actually wrote single-handedly uh, songs like Lack of Communication, whereas Bobby wrote really nothing. I mean, I know he wrote some records, or not records, he wrote some songs on, on Infestation, supposedly, I don't know. But those songs are not paying the bills, you know. But he is a legendary rock drummer, you know, arguably the greatest drummer of the 1980s, you know. Uh, he's up against people like Tommy Lee and 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 uh, Wild Mick Brown and people like that, you know, uh, Bob Bonham and 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 maybe Peter Chris and but but really when you look at all these characters, Alex Van Halen, I mean, none of them come even close uh, to the drumming proficiency of Bobby Blotzer. You know what I mean? Bobby is a drum god. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is that why does he need to attack Juan Crucier? All Juan's trying to do is what Steven's doing, you know? He's going out there, you know, he's playing, you know, uh, 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 you know, swap meets and flea markets and, 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 and you know, racetracks and, and small clubs and dives. I mean, he's doing the business of being a rocker. You know what I mean? Juan, you know, great voice, plays the bass guitar, very, very important instrument in the band. I mean, countless people go see a rock band because they want to see the bassist, you know? They want to hear the bass. The bass is a very, very important instrument in modern-day hard rock music. Arguably, it's the fourth or fifth instrument that people want to hear. And the reality of the matter is, is that Juan is a showman, you know? Uh, he flips the bass around, you know? He jumps up and down. You know, he gives the people something more than just, you know, going up there. You know, we saw this in the early 90s. You know, these guys looked like they had just woken up out of bed staring at their shoes, you know, no emotion, nothing. Juan is, is a throwback to the 80s, you know, when people really got into the music and had fun and did their hair up and everything, you know. Juan's got an amazing full head of hair. And the reality of the matter is, is that Bobby, you know, he took out his version of Rat you know, and they were playing casinos and amphitheaters and they were doing their thing. And then he got sued. And then, you know, basically he's at home. And, but Bobby also leads a very, you know, busy lifestyle. He's got to walk to the mailbox, go down to the Dollar Tree every so often. You know, he's he's got his Facebook account, you know, and when Bobby Blaster posts on Facebook, dozens of people all around the world are, are going to read it, you know. There's upwards, he's got probably upwards of 100, maybe 150 fans around the world. And the thing is, is that when they see a post like this, of course they're going to repost it. I, I got wind of this on Metal Sludge. You know, Metal Sludge is one of the most popular, you know, uh, websites out there. Brave Words is another one. It, got, it made it to Brave Words. When a guy like Bobby from the multi-platinum rock band Rat uh, puts out a post on Facebook, it's going to make the rounds. It's going to make the rounds. So him calling Juan, quote unquote, dancing Cuban bear, it's going to make it to the base god, to the four string extraordinaire. And it's going to create animosity and tension within one of the most popular and talked about rock bands of, you know, rock history. Rat could quite possibly be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame any minute now. So the reality of the matter is, you know, then he tries to backtrack and he's backpedaling because he feels the wrath of Juan Mania. You know, what you're going to do when Juan Mania rolls wild on you, brother? And the thing is, is he felt it. He felt it. So he comes out there and he says, quote, I'm unaffected by Juan's touring, end quote. Well, it's hard to believe that, Bob, because you just said that he's a dancing Cuban bear. You mocked the four-string god, the rock god, known as Juan Crucier. I mean, Juan rocked with Dokken 
And as you know, Dawkins rhymes with rockin'. And then he joined Rat, and he really helped put Rat on the map. And Juan is a big reason of why Bobby made it into Rat. These guys were friends, bros, you know, brothers of other mothers kind of thing. And so it's just very painful to see these two luminaries, these two legends that, 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 that command so much support in senior assisted living facilities now at war with each other. So listen, my hope is that rock god Bobby Blotzer and bass ace Juan Crucier of the multi-platinum recording band Rat to stop with all this fighting because in the end, it's just going to lead to the fans going at it with each other. We're going to see people taking out canes and walkers. We're going to see the potential for some serious, ser I mean, it might even go violent. You know what I mean? And I'm going to tell you something. When rat fans take their teeth out, it's on like Donkey Kong. So let's try, please, to rein in some harmony and some good feeling. You know, let's, let's not have a lack of communication. Okay? Because the reality of the matter is, is that life is short. These guys... You know, they're pushing 70s, you know what I mean? There needs to be a rat reunion. Steven, Warren, Bobby, uh, what's his name? Uh, Juan, and maybe Carlos Cavazzo or something. If he's busy, you can always get John Carabi or Bobby Crane or, or Johnny Monaco. Just, but, but go on out there and tour, you know, play uh, amphitheaters and play flea markets, play uh, farmer's markets, wherever they'll let you play. You know what I mean? But just go and do it. You know what I mean? And let the, the, the fans hear this great music. Because, look, we're not going to be around forever. You know what I mean? And I think it's important that, that this, this sort of infighting stop. Because this isn't what you want to be known for. You know? Bobby's got a very, very busy lifestyle. He's got to go to the mailbox. You know? Uh, he, he has to uh, shower and, and stuff. And, and he's got to do laundry. And he leads a very, very busy lifestyle. And Juan just wants to get out there and play, you know, for, you know, 10 or 20 people at some of these shows. Steven's out there touring, you know, he's doing the uh, reissuing all the old music again with like a like a new like cover and and stuff. I mean, because nobody really cares about his solo stuff. And so he's just doing that and he's putting it all in a box and stuff. And so, look, it's about that, man. It's about rocking. It's about giving the people what they want to hear, even if they've heard it 35 times uh, you want to give it to him one more time and try to make a buck off of it. But the thing is, is that this fighting here, nobody wants to see this from multi-platinum recording artists like Rat. These guys are so big right now, you know what I mean? And so the reality of the matter is they need to get together and they need to release a best of, you know what I mean? Or maybe they could do like an acoustic album playing all their hits from 40 years ago, repackage it, go back out on tour, you know, buy a rat ticket, get a complimentary beverage and a hot dog.